Among the more than 40 imperial concubines of Emperor Qianlong, imperial concubine fragrance, it is said that he sent out miraculous fragrance without wearing perfume satchel or burning jaw sticks while taking bath. Qianlong doted on this concubine from Xinjiang very much. He even constructed precious moon tower and muslim quarter, especially for her in the Forbidden City. We cannot bear to be curious that how pretty was this imperial concubine fragrance that the Emperor Qianlong, who had seen different people, could still be such enchanted by her. This is a portrait of imperial concubine fragrance and military actress. The existing portraits of imperial concubine fragrance also include imperial concubine fragrance portrait in ritual attire, the portrait in Manchu custom, and the portrait in Western dress. However, the strange point is the imperial concubine fragrance on each portrait looks different from one another. How on earth did this well-renowned and extremely gorgeous imperial concubine fragrance look then? The archaeologists found out the answer. In the eastern tomb of the Qing dynasty in Zunhua, Hebei province, this mausoleum had already been damaged at the arrival of the archaeologists. The skeleton was scattered all over the place. The expert found the skull of the tomb owner, Imperial Concubine Fragrance. They analyzed the structure of this skull. This woman was grown with a Roman nose and deep eye hole. Experts restored the posthumous look of the tomb owner. An oval face, almost shaped eyes, arched eyebrows, and a small mask. This is probably the photo that is most approximate to the real look of imperial concubine fragrance. We cannot help wondering when looking at this recovered picture that the reason why Emperor Chen Long doted on the Emperor Concubine fragrance, the real reason lies more probably in that Emperor Chen Long intended to maintain long-term stability in the northwest bordering areas through this cross-national political marriage.